This is your average ordinary Lego minifig, but today we're going to be changing his life forever and giving him the experience of a multi-million dollar lifestyle. In this video, I'm going to be building super expensive things in Lego from an expensive car to an expensive house. So anyway, let the challenge begin. Our first step is to become rich. We need that ching ching. And since this video is only eight minutes long, how are we gonna do that in a very quick manner? Let's start with business number one. A movie theater snack shop that sells overpriced popcorn. That's $37. Awesome. We all know to afford movie theater popcorn, you either have to be Jeff Bezos or willing to sacrifice your monthly rent. Another business we can start for him is being a Twitch streamer. Here's a dual screen gaming computer, some G Fuel, and just like that, our minifig is already screaming into his mic cranking 90s on sweaty players in Fortnite, racking up hundreds of dollars in donos. Can we get some W's in the chat? And now that he's famous, everybody wants to take their B-reel with him so he can just charge money for that. We'll also have him sell NFTs, sneakers, and his left kick. At this point, our minifigure is profiting so much that it's time to get him his first paycheck. So we need to get him a bunch of Lego money. Okay, so I searched the internet and this one guy is selling 24,000 of these green $100 bills. So I'm gonna go ahead and order a thousand of these. Mom, please don't get mad at me. See you guys in one week. I waited one week, then it came oh. in the mail. I've never seen this much Lego money in person. So we have a thousand one hundred dollar bills, which means you're looking at a hundred thousand dollars in Lego money. It's like massaging my hand right now. And with this much Lego money, I think it's about time we go celebrate and spend some of it. Okay, so our minifig has all these businesses, so much money that it doesn't even jiggle, yet he has absolutely no drip. Like, what is this ugly banana shirt? Where'd you buy this from, Gap? So our next step is to take him shopping, buy him some bougie clothes, and get him dripped up. I searched my minifig bins and made a bunch of random outfits. Okay, this one makes you look like a hype beast. It's got thunder right on the shirt, so it looks like you're being electrocuted. Here's a limited edition Lamborghini racer jacket. Here's a space-themed designer jacket with a diagonal zipper. This this one comes with a Gucci bucket hat, Dior shades, and a 24 karat gold chain. And here's designer underwear. And after designing several more outfits, I think we have a wardrobe large enough to keep this minifig dripped out for life. And with so much fame and money, I think this minifig needs a team of security. Okay, that looks better. I've been all around the world. To complement his looks, I think our minifig needs his first car. Okay, I just looked up the car. It honestly looks really complicated. We need content, so I'm gonna build it anyway. Okay, so in two hours, I think I successfully built a Bugatti Chiron. It can fit one minifig. In real life, these cars cost $3 million, but to make one of these in Lego, I think I only spent like $30. So now that our car is complete, insert a really cool flex montage. Honestly, I don't feel like one car is enough of a flex, so I say we make a second one. Stickers always make me so anxious. Oh crap, let me fix that. There you go, it's a little better. Now we have two cars to flex with. So we have businesses, we have Ching Ching, we have Drip, and we have Whips. But what's more to have? Oh, I have an idea. What about a house? We're about to design this minifig's dream home in Lego. So before we lay down a single brick, we need resources. So I went ahead and blew $500 online for parts. Maybe this was a little excessive. I then went to Walmart and bought a couple base plates. And just like that, I was off. To start, I built the walls for the first floor. I added some luxurious curved windows, a double door entrance, and some of these textured bricks for detail. Okay, so we got the walls for the first floor. Now let's make the inside. So I started designing the interior by adding some checkered flooring, a coat rack, and a statue of our minifig for the entrance. That's how you know you're really important. Maybe it's a bad idea that our minifig's money is just laying outside. So I say we build a giant safe and fill it with money and then put it in this corner of the room. Now we need a place to make food. So in this corner, I'll add a kitchen with all the essential appliances and a dining table on the edge with some stools. But since cooking is a boring waste of time at this level of fame, I called up Batman and he's gonna let us use Alfred as our personal butler. Alfred, make me a croissant and cream pie. Whoa, he's like a real life Alexa. Next to the kitchen, I added a dining room and I used Harry Potter wands for the legs of this table and this blade for a potted plant. And in case Alfred gives you a loaded bean burrito and you're about to drop a fat nuke, here's a bathroom. 
Now we need to entertain our guests. So I say we add a living room with an L-shaped couch, a deck of cards, a cookie for each person who likes this video, and an entertainment system with speakers, gaming consoles, and a large TV where the boys can watch the new Black Panther movie. We need this minifig to pursue his career in gaming. So to continue racking those donations, let's add a gaming room in this corner so he can still stream and entertain his fans. And in this section, I'll add a hardwood floor. Uh oh, I just broke a brown piece. Because to flex on any new guests that come, here's a small room that displays some of his most rare NFTs, sneakers, and even a replica of his left kidney. And I think it's about time we can move to the second floor. So just like that, I slapped on a staircase and started building the second floor. I made sure to leave a hole for the stairs. I then built the walls and used the same design as the first floor. Our minifig needs a place to sleep, so let's start with the master bedroom. Here's a king-sized bed, two tables, and one of those really relaxing massage chairs. We can also design a master bathroom with an indoor jacuzzi. Very, very luxurious. Then I'll build a wall and add some weird artwork, which uh, likely means it's expensive. And this guy keeps falling down the stairs, so let's go ahead and add some railing up top. <laughs> Okay, much better. I'll then go ahead and add a rug. Whoops. That's what happens when your mama steps there. And then I'll add a shelf with some rare antique collectible looking stuff. This balcony outside needs to be customized. So I say we add some railing, a potted plant, and a chair. And there's even a bigger balcony on the other side. So I say we turn this into an outdoor deck with a hot tub and an outdoor dining area. Okay, can we please cut it with the duck? In case if our minifig invites friends over, we need a place for them to sleep. So I say we add two guest bedrooms in these two corners. We can also add some walls and to fill in the remaining empty space we can turn this into a lounge area with a popcorn machine plant lamp the moths will love that one and also an air hockey table and just like that our second floor was completed and it was almost two in the morning and i was getting tired so it was time to go to bed and resume the next day okay now it's time for my least favorite part of making any house and that's the roof so i went ahead and started placing down all these dark red slopes and after an hour of tedious work we had a completed roof i did add some fake windows for extra looks and it looks like that completes the actual house. Now it's time to actually customize the front and backyard. Let's start with the front. I'll add a large driveway with some detailed pavement and I'll put a fountain in the middle and use transparent studs for water. I'll add bushes up front, hedges on the sides. We can park both cars we made earlier. And lastly, I'll add a brick fence around the front with a movable gate using these Technic parts. And it looks like that completes the front. Okay, so for the backyard, I made a large infinity pool with a bunch of inflatable balls. And then I added these pool chairs that you can sunbathe on. Then I went ahead and made a very exotic garden full of plants, flowers, and then I added a pathway going to this side of the backyard where I made an outdoor kitchen. There's a pizza being made right now, and I even added some outdoor dining tables. And just like that, boys and girls, our house is completed. That took a solid 24 hours to make, but we're not done yet because we need to throw a huge party and we need to invite a bunch of celebrities. So I got in touch with my Lego buddy, Brett, from the Canvas Dawn on Instagram, and he sent over these custom minifigs he made. Whoa, these are actually sick. What the heck? I listen to these people. He actually sells these, by the way. So go check out his Instagram. I'll link it below. Now our minifig can party. So insert a cool montage editor. Oh, crap. I forgot I'm the editor. Dang it. So we've given this Lego man all these riches, but in the end, money can't really buy happiness. So there's one final step we have to do. Let's teach this minifig what life really means. Huh? <laughs> Take that, Lego man.